Hello everybody, my name is Alison Kwame and I'm a librarian in the adult department here at the Longwood Public Library. I'd like to share a book that I've just read for your reading pleasure. The Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead, published in 2019. Colson Whitehead is the author of many books of fiction as well as non-fiction. His works include The Underground Railroad, which was on the number one best-selling list for the New York Times. He is also the recipient of a MacArthur as well as a Guggenheim Fellowship. And this year, he is going to be receiving the prestigious Library of Congress Award for American Fiction that'll take place in September. Even in death, the boys were in trouble. This story is about civil rights, human rights, and the dignity for life. It is about examination about our criminal justice system and the abuse of power and extension of how a person's life can be changed in a matter of moments. Our protagonist in this story is Elwood, a young boy who's living in Jacksonville, Florida with his grandmother. He's got prospects for college. He loves Dr. King's speeches. He's got a small job and he appreciates the small things in life. One day everything changes and he winds up at the nickel school for boys and he'll never be the same. He's beaten, he's punished, he's stripped of his humanity. Life altering. He meets other children just like him whose only reason for being there was being in the wrong place at the wrong time. The Nickel Boys is a history lesson about our country and taking a look at the human factor in American youth, black children. Our antagonist in this story is Turner quite opposite from Elwood, who's come to the Nickel Academy as a boy who just was moving around society and getting by and got caught and got sent to the reform school. He wants to stay alive. Very, very different from Elwood. The story transitions between a young Elwood and a young Turner and an older Turner. It takes us from Jacksonville to New York and we're not quite sure where they converge, but we know at the very end of the story, there are life-changing things that happen. I really don't want to give a spoiler, but the characters that you think they are are not really so. And I hope you enjoy this book. Again, The Nickel Boys, here at the Longwood Library, available as an electronic book, play away, CD, and e-audiobooks, as well as a physical copy on our shelves. Thank you.